going to talk about mental health, self-love. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all, y'all, y'all ready, y'all ready, y'all ready, y'all ready. What's going on? It's me, Shireen, aka Upside Down Smiley. Did you guys like my new little intro? Like the little video clip I need to work on. But that little song, that's some, a little bit of that young man. I'm only working on a track right now. And I have a new background. We are in the living room where there is exposed brick, which I think is kind of dope. We are going to talk about mental health self-love i want this topic to almost be like when you're having a regular conversation and talking about like eating healthy and working out and then like focusing on your mental health like that's how common this needs to be i struggled with getting myself to talk about this because one like the negative stigma with mental health and then also i am a professional that has clients that hire me and i guess there's like this pressure to be perfect and i don't want to feel like I'm less of a professional, but the reality is, is everyone goes through this kinds of stuff. I feel like if someone were to think I would be less capable of my job because I'm talking about mental health and the realness of it, then we're probably not a good fit. And then lastly, I don't have a background in this. Like who am I? Who am I to talk about mental health? Nobody could talk about it because you have a body and you have a brain and you are living. And I am basing all of this on my own experience and my interactions with others. I don't want this video to be about me, but if I'm gonna say we should talk about this more, I need to be open and share my story. I've talked about in past videos of feeling like isolated since starting this new career and just being alone a lot. And I'm used to being with people, I'm a people person. And so that was like a really hard transition for me. Anxiety and depression have honestly have been a part of my life for a while. I felt it when I was in jobs that I wasn't happy in. And I honestly felt a lot of this kind of same type of feelings when I was a teenager and I wasn't doing well in school. At times in my life, it's been situational. There have been times where I struggled a little bit more. But I have days, man. I have days where I'm like so not nice to myself. A couple days ago, I was like, man, I'm like screwing everything up. Y'all know I'm not screwing everything up, but you just are like so mean to yourself sometimes. I'm also nervous to talk about it because I manage it on my own, but if you need more help, if you need to talk to someone, if you need to be on medication, you should not feel weak because you are just in a different place and you are figuring it out and that is okay. I have spoken to doctors, I have tried therapy, and honestly, this is my therapy. Like, I like just talking, and I feel like the people that watch my video are people that love me and know me, and I am more comfortable doing this than talking to a stranger. I put my ideas out there, and I know that it's going to live online probably forever, and I know that I am putting myself out there to be judged, and that is okay because I am okay with being an evolving person. So the shift for me was a lot of self-discovery. So really like feeling out of whack, like not feeling like myself. If you're feeling like something is not right, you can't ignore it. You need to figure out what it is. And if you can't figure it out on your own, that's okay. Go see a doctor, go talk to people, go talk to professionals. There's absolutely no reason to feel ashamed. Like I need you to feel that and believe that and understand like you should not be embarrassed. Think about like if you've had a family member that has gotten cancer, if someone you know well that has gotten cancer, everyone is like going to their house, bringing them food, going to the hospital, visiting them, showing them support. And then once something happens about like you hear about someone having like a mental health issue, which you honestly don't hear very often unless it's gotten like really bad and you don't really know what to do and you don't know what to say. You need to be better about just like showing up, showing up the same way. For me, I felt like I almost didn't have the right to feel this way. Like I come from a great family, I have great parents, I am very privileged, I have a really wonderful marriage. And so I was like, why am I feeling this way? Why am I sad? I am like so blessed. But that is a feeling that a lot of people feel. I've been doing a lot of reading, I've been doing a lot of prayer, like meditation, like I am trying anything. Send me your ideas. Every day, lesson learning, 
you're trying to just figure it out, right? And every day is different and your feelings are gonna be different. Your story is yours and what works for you may not work for me and what works for me may not work for you. I wanted to create the life I wanted and I was tired of being sad. And so I just started checking myself. I heard in a podcast that I am in control of my feelings. So the moment that I start feeling like sad or down and it doesn't happen every single time, but I try to remind myself that I am in control of how I feel. I am in control of how I can react right now. And you may feel like it's really difficult sometimes, but knowing that anxiety or sadness or whatever it is doesn't define you. You are not a sad person. You are not a depressed person. No, this is just something that you're going through. It might be a lifelong thing, but you're gonna figure it out. And for me, like the whole isolation thing, like I knew I needed to see people more often. Like there are days where I go just seeing my husband. That's the only person I see. And that's not good, man. Like we are human beings. Like, we need to be around people, have people around you that you love, have people that you that care about you and do things that make you happy. I have this incredible book called Belong by the founder of Daybreaker and one of the things that she suggested is to dance in front of the mirror for an entire song every single morning and I was like loving that. Appreciating those moments of joy. So I read this book by Renee Brown and she was talking about how joy is actually a really vulnerable feeling because a lot of times when you start feeling joy your mind shifts to somewhere else so like you might be excited about a vacation and then you're like oh no am I gonna be able to afford it oh no there's gonna be so much planning oh no is it gonna be safe but then like instead of going into that place when you have a moment of joy immediately thinking I'm going on this great vacation I'm so thankful like having that gratitude I'm so thankful that I'm able to do this I'm so thankful that I have the money to make it work remembering that gratitude will just remind you how good your life is instead of like dwelling on the negative. The biggest thing is feeling like you can talk about it and then also just being the kind of person that is open to talking about it. Just be a more open-minded person overall. People will gravitate to you. I get messages all the time and I don't know everything and I likely can't really help people, but what I can offer is support. And I think that's a really understated thing because yes, we can go to doctors and we can go get help and we can do this and this and this. You don't want to feel alone through this whole process. You have moments of doubt just like I do, but remember that you are in control of your feelings. A single person goes through this, and that is normal. That's why we need to start talking about it more and make it a normal thing. Life is supposed to be fun, so do what makes you happy. Figure out what it takes because there is a solution for everything. It just takes work and it takes patience. If you feel like your family and friends aren't really supportive or they're not open to talking about this, give them a little bit of credit. Honestly, keep trying, keep going at it. People will change, people will be open to talking more. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to my supportive family. Thank you for everyone that watches these videos. I am going to the Philippines in January, which I'm super hype about, so I'm hoping I might get back onto travel videos. And then I wanna get into these like, more of discussion, tea time with Shireen videos. You will see that soon. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell. So you know every time I upload a video, which is every single Sunday, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about mental health. Let me know all the things. Follow me on Instagram at Upside Down Smiley. Let's be friends. And yeah, thank you. Bye.